Lots of students and families are on spring break this week. Some at the beach, others sticking around here, and some coming into our area from other parts of the country. And you've heard the stories in the past. Young people, college students, they take it too far in letting loose, and they get themselves into trouble that parents then have to sort out. Six on your side's legal expert Greg Isaacs is spending his spring break with us. Greg, we appreciate that. Thank you for being here. Lori, it's great to be here. First things first, why don't people realize the law is still the law when they're on vacation? Lori, instead of a big welcome to the sunshine state when uh -huh. spring breakers arrive in Florida, uh, they're getting the opposite signal. Um, they're getting notice that basically um, the Florida Highway Patrol have partnered with local law enforcement and they are cracking down on underage drinking this spring break. And let me tell you why. Uh, Last year, there were 389 uh, crashes in the state of Florida. There were 3,400 fatalities. 5,700 of those uh, crashes were alcohol-related. Most occur in March. Wow, right there during spring break. You know, uh, that's one thing. Yes, driving to and from your destination. Let's dig a little deeper into that. Let's dig a little deeper. If you're under 21, mm -hmm. there is a host of ways you can get in trouble. Uh, drinking age in Florida, 21. Uh, you are not allowed to uh, possess an open container. There are curfews. You need to check the county that you're traveling to. Uh, underage drinking sounds innocuous, um, but if they notify your home state, if you get convicted, a forum like Tennessee, you will lose your license for a year. Mm -hmm. DUI serious first offense uh, in Florida. The legal limit like Tennessee is 0 .08 can carry a jail time up to six months. Uh, again, loss of license. Um, so a lot of serious consequences and there will be no uh, drinking on the beach. Um, they're letting everybody know, no coolers, no containers. They're really enforcing this, too. Th Let's they not are kid really, anybody. And, and let me tell you what has compounded this. This is the first really open spring break since COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, they have got more reservations. I, I, speaking with the Congressman Burchett's office, they are slammed with passport uh, assistance, and they are on a four-day wait. They, they can't even respond. So it's crazy. But realize, other than the harsh penalties um, a, a, an arrest could cost, Mm -hmm. um, and remember, 33,000 uh, arrests for DUI in Florida last year, 700 under, underage drinking citations. You, you don't just get arrested and leave and go home. You have to go back to court time and time again. There's You've time, got, there's money, there's your record. And it's a record. So when yeah. you're going to school to get that dream job and you're trying to be somebody, uh, the consequences are just uh, insurmountable. Yeah. But just realize, be smart. Be safe. It, spring break is a high school, college student's favorite time of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, law enforcement and parents, uh, it's one of the worst. It is. <laughs> you got to be careful. Everyone should be careful. But having said all that, yeah. have a great spring break. <laughs> Thank you, Greg.